Oliver Becker won three times on the Sunshine Tour last season. As a result, we've seen him less at home this term as he spreads his wings. I'm playing nicely on Challenge Tour. I've had um, a few top tens, a few just outside of the top ten, but also a few miscuts. So it's been a little bit of a mixed bag. Uh, you can't really expect more if you're working on your game, um, trying to change a few things. You know, the week when it when you feel good, it comes off, and, uh, and you have a good week. But you know, some weeks you just feel a little bit off, and uh, and you miss the cut. But yeah, it's tough. It's uh, it's hard to play out there. You know, traveling's difficult, and uh, everything I get is last minute. I get into the event, so it, it makes it interesting. There's been an exciting year in that regard. A good finish to the season and I can still finish top 15, you know, so that's the, that's the goal for me. I'm at, at the moment, I'm just under, just inside the top 50. Need a strong uh, few weeks in the big events. Changing a few things. After the success of last year, it begs the question, why? Working on my game a little bit, changing the swing a little bit, just to get more consistency in my ball striking, um, especially um, with the iron shots. Um, I think if, you, if you're on top of your game with your iron shots, you're giving yourself a lot of looks at birdie, and if, if you're putting well, you, you're going to shoot a low score. This season, despite the work in progress, he's finished top 10 twice on his home tour and enjoyed the same number of higher profile finishes on the Challenge Tour. I felt like I've put myself in position to do well a few events and not quite finished it off in the final rounds. The result wasn't a highlight, but at least I put myself in a position where I, I could win. And the more you do that, sooner or later you're going to come through and you're going to win. So um, just going to keep on doing that. He's been sixth in the Kenya Open and eighth in France. He's travelled widely, adapting. We're used to playing off Kukuyu fairways and where it sits up a little bit and chipping. Um, your action is a little bit different in Europe. You need to, it's tighter and it's wetter normally, so you need to adjust your, your action just a touch to with the chipping. But other than that, we've been lucky this year. It's been, they've been having a heat wave, which is just normal weather for us, you know, so, so that's nice. But in the past, when, when I've played, you know, we, we've had some dreadful weather, and that's normally the biggest challenge. So um, we've been lucky in that regard, and hopefully it continues the rest of the season. Another challenge to consider is the mental approach to playing a different tour, breaking new ground, feeling there's less security as you try to become established. Yeah, it's a tough one, you know, you do put pressure on yourself because I'm not playing every event on the, on the challenge tour, you know, we're playing to finish top 15 and uh, everybody's playing for the same thing and there's 25 events and I'm only playing about half of them, so, you know, I've got to do twice as good in those events as the other guys are doing and if they're playing all the events. So there is a little bit of added pressure and you're traveling and it's an expensive exercise. So you feel like you've got to make it count. But in the same sentence, you've got to say, listen, if you put too much pressure on yourself, you can't perform. So you've got to go there with an open mind. Like I'm working on my swing, which, which is not ideal. So I can't really go there with too much expectations, but um, yeah, luckily so far I've been managing to, to put a few good rounds together. Holly feels at least that his 10 years as a professional with a wealth of Sunshine Tour experience helps when facing new challenges. Yeah, it does prepare you for other tours, especially we play different types of greens every week and that also makes a big difference because you know, so certain tours you play the same kind of conditions every week, week in, week out. So if they face something different, they're kind of out of their, you know, it takes them a bit of uh, adjustment before they, they catch their stride again. Where I think we're so used to it that we just step in and, and go from the start. There are plenty more courses to adapt to as his season progresses, both at home and abroad. But if he were to mark his school report so far, Compared to last year, this is not the same level, so it is a little bit uh, disappointing, but I don't feel like it's, it's been a bad year. I feel like I've had a lot of good results still, and um, I'm playing on the Challenge Tour as well as Sunshine Tour this year, so I mean, there's a lot of traveling and, and a lot of uh, fatigue that comes with that. But I still feel like I can win, and um, if, uh, if, you know, if it all comes together, I think I, I will win. So yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's just that belief in yourself. You've got to keep on believing, and um, that's what it comes down to. Oliver Becker has seven Sunshine Tour titles to his name all told. No one would be surprised if number eight wasn't far away. A W is always an aim, but there are other targets too. 
ideally I would like to get my European tour card this year if it's possible. Like I said, I'm playing Challenge Tour, so if I can finish top 15 there, then I've got an automatic card, but I'm also into final stage of European tour school, so if I can play well at final stage, then I also get my card. So I've got two bites at it this year, and um, yeah, hopefully uh, that's uh, a reality at the end of the year. He's currently a lowly 49th on the Challenge Tour rankings, but there's still a long way to go.